Not from Leicester, not from Kettering, and not from Northampton. Live from Market Harborough, this is 95.1 HFM. HFM weather in association with the new South Leicestershire Learning Innovation Centre. New location, new ways of learning, new experience for you. For more information, telephone free on 0800 731 6723. I'm not sure where, uh, whether uh, Philippa's in, in Nottingham or, um, or whether she's at home. Philippa, are you there? Yes, and I'm at home. Hi. It's a little early in the morning to be in the office. And, <laughs> and uh, just remind us where, where, where home is, uh, Philippa. Uh, just outside Nottingham. I live in a small town just outside Nottingham, so yeah. it's not far away, really. Not far away. OK. <laughs> um, you're a unable to uh, to join us on uh, online at the moment. Uh, I've uh, managed it, actually. Oh, I've have you? Oh, I can the see your name technology. there. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, um, I see your name in the classroom. That's one of the wonderful things about this, uh, this technology, is that I can see the names of everyone who's in the room, and I could also have... The little private chats with them. Now, how, how many technologies can you say where uh, you can have people all over the world and you're able to talk to them whilst you're listening to the same radio program? Quite, uh, quite remarkable. Um, so, Philippa, um, tell us a little bit about um, uh, your work at the East Midlands Development Agency. Yes, of course. Well, the East Midlands, for, for those of you in other parts of the world, it's, um, it's really just a region of, of the UK, and it, it covers about six counties, about 4.1 million people. And the job I have um, inside the East Midlands Development Agency is to develop the, the innovation policy for the region. So I make the connection between our UK government and um, the businesses, the universities, the colleges, the people, the schools, the local authorities in the East Midlands region. Um, and we've defined innovation, interestingly, as, as profitable change. Profitable that, change. That, absolutely. That's perhaps because our focus is on business development. That is our role to, to help to stimulate the economy in the region. So the way we're looking at it is that if we encourage businesses to see change as profitable, then we can help encourage them to, to be innovative in all sorts of ways, whether that's using technology of all, of all types, not just ICT. Yes. Um, whether it's looking for new markets, whether it's... Um, uh, it's starting your own business. We have a campaign at the moment to encourage people to start their own new businesses. Yes. So lots of things. It's about change. It's about making sure that change is profitable. Um, if it's a personal change in your own life, you know, using your computers at home, then one hopes that we can uh, demonstrate the benefits of that. So in that sense, uh, the individual can profit. So how, how do you see yourselves uh, getting this uh, message out to uh, the, uh, the East Midlands uh, people? We're, we're hoping to, well, we are planning uh, a campaign to, to raise awareness. Um, at the moment, we're, we're pulling together many of the partners in the region because this is, this is going to be work that has to be kind of owned locally. So obviously the work that's happening in Harborough is an absolutely ideal opportunity for us to, to demonstrate different forms of technology um, and the benefits it can bring. Um, we've got to touch people's hearts and minds, so we need to show how... These technologies can help in the home, in the community, at work, in education. So we'll be hoping to set up um, perhaps mobile um, demonstrators of something like satellite technology. All because right. one of the issues we have, we, we're quite a rural area and uh, many parts of the region do not have access to um, uh, you know, the fast enough speeds of connectivity into the internet. Yes. Uh, it's very restricting if you're only able to use a dial-up line, which is what I'm doing at the moment. So You're using a dial-up line, so you're a victim, <laughs> a victim of the uh, uh, the technology, but you're still with us, though. That's good. Uh, so you're still yes, logged on to the internet, yeah. I can um, see the group chat uh, comments coming up, so keep them coming, folks. Yeah, um, that's right. Keep using the group chat. Well, this is the, uh, the thing that we found in this, um, which is quite an innovative uh, thing in itself, this series of uh, radio broadcasts. We found that uh, it's the interaction between the guests on the internet that um, has, has proved quite fascinating. People making connections from around the globe and starting new relationships. And I guess this is um, how how new knowledge can be uh, generated for the for the benefit of uh, of everyone. Yeah. So. Um, East Midlands, as, as a region, um, is quite ambitious in its plans to become a major force in Europe, I believe. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, I think every region in the UK has its aspirations, and we we want to be in, in the top 20 regions in in uh, in Europe. And considering there are 70 uh, something, I can't quite remember how many. Uh, we've got quite a long way to go. We're kind of in the round about 40 ish. Um, but we're, our aims are to be in the top 20 by the year 2010. Yes. And there are many different measures uh, of, of how we might um, put ourselves there. So uh, there's, there's quite a lot of work to do in, in deciding exactly what we mean by that. But we're, we're already very strong on employment. We, we're eighth in Europe um, in terms of the numbers of people that are employed in the region. So we're doing very well. But we're very conscious that many of those jobs are um, perhaps low paid and low skilled. Yeah. So the big, uh, the big opportunity for us is to help people understand better how to use um, all forms of technology, including ICT, to, to, to help make sure we have higher value jobs, higher value businesses in the region. Yeah. Um, well, we're talking uh, to you here from uh, Innovation House in, in, in Harborough, which is going to be a new community learning and uh, media centre. Uh, I believe there are uh, a number of um, uh, such centres around the East Midlands, Philippa. Um, I think this one perhaps is, is somewhat unique in terms of combining the innovation and learning opportunity. We have learning resource centres around the region which we've developed um, with, with the UK government. We have the UK Online campaign, which is... Uh, operating from central government with regional um, representation. And we've used some of the funding available to us to develop centres for learning right across the region so that uh, pe individuals can find their local centre and hopefully won't have to travel too far to it and use it for learning not just about ICT but all sorts of um, areas of learning. Yes. But I think, I think the Harbour one has, has the edge with the, the additional innovation um, attack, uh, um, angle to it. And I know that it's also seeking to reach out into the villages um, around Harborough. Yes. And that, that network of learning is exactly what we'd like to encourage. Yes. Oh, well, so we're, we're, we're on the right track then uh, here in, in Harborough um, and uh, addressing uh, not just the needs of people in Market Harbour itself but also the rural villages. Um, and we've seen uh, quite a loss of uh, services and facilities in villages lately. Uh, post offices closing down, uh, pubs closing, village shops closing. Um, have you a strategy for reversing those kind of trends? Um, in terms of helping with retail, well, um, the, uh, it's, it's strange actually because I think the statistics show that um, there isn't the take up of, of buying on the internet perhaps for, for local services that, that people expect it. Yes. Um, so I think there's every opportunity for us to, 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 to really maintain some of those businesses. but. Uh, perhaps part of what we need to do is take a hard look at you know the business case for those uh, those kinds of, of small businesses to, to be there. Mm -hmm. and that's one of the skills that we, we need to help, um, especially newer, smaller businesses, to, to understand what the market dynamics are so that it's actually a, a genuine business decision whether or not they uh, stay in, stay in the, the line of business they're in, whether they seek to change. Um, Relocation, I know, is an extremely difficult thing to consider because what, what we do try to encourage um, is that it's the quality of life in the East Midlands that, that brings people to us. So we don't really want people to have to move. We want to make sure that they have the right facilities. Yes. If ICT, for example, is one of the, the barriers to, to business success, then what we're doing is working very hard to make sure that, that we remove those barriers. Um, the, the work we do is, is to really build the capacity of the, uh, the, sort of the business advisor and support network in the region. Yes. So we have in the UK a, a network of business link organisations. That's a, a, sort of a UK initiative with, again, with local representation. Um, and those, um, those advisors are able to go and perhaps help with doing market analysis, to help with finding funding, perhaps grants for doing specific things. And so we're, we're seeking to boost their capabilities. Yes. And, and th there's a, we also tend to, um, each region tends to have priority areas of business. You know, we're very strong on high performance engineering in the region. Yes. We're very strong still on clothing and textiles, which I know tends to be seen as a dying um, yeah. industry. But in fact, at the, the East Midlands, it's, it's perhaps um, coming to a focal point in the East Midlands. We've got some very innovative businesses developing new textiles, new technologies, new applications for those textiles. 
So they're the kinds of um, changes in, in, in business position that we're looking to, to encourage. Well, that's, that's excellent. innovation for us. So um, really what, what, what you're saying is that um, uh, Loki and throughout the whole of the East Midlands region, we're going to have a uh, support infrastructure uh, with expertise and skills to be able to help people on the ground to be able to um, uh, develop sustainable and profitable businesses. I couldn't have put it better myself, David. Thank you very much, Philippa. And thank you very much for joining us. Stay on the line because there's more to come.